Dear colleagues, this eye has 360 degree posterior synechia, iris bombay, and almost 360 degree peripheral aridocorneal apposition. The patient underwent cataract surgery with intraocular lens implantation, and the patient developed severe anterior uveitis in the postoperative period. Intraocular pressure was raised to 50s. I did TRAV. I didn't respond. Then I did several ear glazer iridotomies at different sites and the intraocular pressure got controlled. But the iris bombay was there for a long time and I'm doing something for that. So the procedure I have termed is anterior chamber reconstruction. The anterior chamber is not there. The anterior chamber, that is the space between the cornea and the iris, is severely jeopardized. So what I'm going to do is I made two entries I'm using the Simco cannula breaking the posterior sinica all around. There is addition between the anterior capsular rim and the iris. And so I'm breaking that sinica and pulling the iris towards the center and downwards. Downwards means towards the posterior capsule, towards the eye well. And thus, the anterior chamber is getting formed. The antechamber which was very shallow or iris and cornea was in a position that gap is getting created as I pull the iris towards the center and posteriorly that is towards the vitreous cavity and thus the antechamber has been reconstructed. This is this very tough addition between the anterior capsular rim and the iris here at around 9 o'clock. And I'm struggling a lot to break that posterior sinicure. However, I could do that. The patient did very well in the postoperative period. Patient was placed on systemic steroid prednisolone 1.5 milligram per kg body weight. The patient is having good vision now, about 6 12, and the antichamber is quiet. And the antechamber is formed all around. And the people is of moderate size, though it didn't become to normal size, a little dilated still. But a nice job has been done by pulling the iris towards the center and towards the vitreous cavity. The antechamber, which was absent uh, in the periphery, has come into existence. So anterior chamber reconstruction has been done in this case. Hope this video will help you in your practice. Thank you very much for your attention.